tough financial situation. <laughs> uh, we truly are in a financial crisis. Uh, we can argue about how we got there, but you know, we as policymakers have an obligation, just as we did after September 11, to look after the people of this country first. We're going to figure out what happened, and we're going to make sure it doesn't happen again. But right now, it's our obligation to do everything we can to make sure that people are taken care of. And in this instance, taking care of people means making sure that we're protecting 401ks, we're protecting the life savings of people, that we're protecting uh, retirement plans and pension plans of people. Um, so what happened with respect to how we uh, developed a policy on how we're going to look after people? All of you remember that this situation started, this firestorm started back with the Bear Stearns situation and came down the line with uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, then we had the Lehman Brothers failure, then we had um, the AIG situation, and all of a sudden, the private sector basically dealing with most of that with the exception of AIG. Secretary Treasurer walks up to Capitol Hill one day and he said, guys, I need $700 billion to get us out of a financial collapse and if you don't give it to me, the sky's falling and you give me the flexibility and I'll handle it. You talk about sticker shock. Double dose of sticker shock. Number one, that we were in the financial crisis that we're in and secondly, the amount of money that it's going to take to get out of it. Well, uh, Johnny and I talked about it. He and I went uh, and talked to bankers all over the state, bankers from the very highest level down to the smallest community banks in the state. We talked to business people. <clears throat> we talked to economists. We talked to professors at universities who teach this stuff. And what we heard from every single person we talked to is, guys, this thing is serious. It is a real problem, and doing nothing is not an option, because if you do nothing, we're going to have banks collapsing, we're going to have people losing their savings, and we're going to have people losing those 401ks, so you've got to do something. So the next question for us uh, is, well, what do we do? Every time they say, well, I don't know what you need to do, but you've got to do something. Um, so then the second plan that came out after the Paulson initial uh, plan went down the drain was a negotiated plan between the administration and Barney Frank and Chris Dodd in essence. And in that plan, uh, there were several provisions in there that were very toxic to me, one of which was part of the funding, part of the profits that are going to come out of this proposal goes into a fund that groups like ACORNs can get their hands on to 